Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Last month was my birthday, I turned 30, and I put out a call for letters uh, to my PO box because it just wasn't being used enough to justify me paying more than 100 bucks each year. So yeah, I got some, or I got one letter and one package, and I actually, so actually several people commented that they sent me things, but um, yeah, one letter, one package, and I also got a receipt that says that one of the letters was sent back because there was no postage and I didn't pick up it, pick it up in time, uh, so they sent it back. Uh, apparently, if I had reached it in time, they would have uh, allowed me to pay the postage for them. Uh, that is the case with the package. Uh, I paid for the shipping on the package, which I'm okay with doing. Um, but yeah, sorry for, I don't know, this 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 one is sent by McClatchy, I think. I can't read the handwriting here. But uh, sorry, I was not able to get to your letter in time. They didn't send me any notice or anything. So uh, I guess I'll just go back and check routinely in the future. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out what this letter and this package is. And thank you to everybody who sent happy birthday wishes on the last video. All right, let's check this out. Does anybody else open their letters like this? You make a crease and just open it this way instead of like ripping it apart from the letter area. I don't know, it's just the way I do it. This is from Caroline, from Brooklyn, New York, I think. It says Brooklyn, right? It looks like B-R-O-O-K-L. Yeah, it's, it's Brooklyn, okay. <laughs> Eric, having just watched season one of Euphoria the last week of August and becoming totally obsessed, I have been making my way through various reaction channels who covered the show. As other people have commented, you definitely deserve more subscribers. Thank you. Uh, I find your comments and insights to be really great. I think you should feel really good about figuring out that Daniel was the Daniel that so cruelly... Uh, spoilers for Euphoria. That so cruelly did something to Kat in episode three, so... So many people did not figure that out as it was happening. Uh, I felt like a genius last week when I made the connection that Nate's football number is 18. So hopefully someone out there figured out. Figured out what? Shy. Oh, shy guy 118. Oh, nice. Before the reveal at the end of the episode. Alas, I did not. I mean, I didn't even make the connection at shy guy 118 from the fact that he's his football number is number 18. Wow. You just pointed out something new to me. I've been obsessing about Nate, the Nate Jewel situation pretty hard, and I do not ship them whatsoever as his behavior in episode one at the party was totally disqualifying. Uh, when threatening Jules at a party was relatively quaint compared to what was going to happen, I do feel like some aspect of their... Your... Your... Uh, <laughs> Your handwriting is a little hard to read sometimes. Some aspect of their texting was genuine from his side, but he's totally uh, by his obsession, something by his obsession with his father and not wanting his dad's secret exposed. I cannot believe we have to wait another indefinite amount of time for season two, although apparently they are filming some stuff that may come out by the end of the year. Keep up your channel. Hope 2020 hasn't been too hard, but it's challenging forever. So this letter actually looks like it came out came before uh, I put out the request for birthday uh, things. So yeah, uh, thank you for your letter, um, Caroline. Definitely really like uh, Euphoria. I think Euphoria is some of the best uh, commentary I've done on my channel. Uh, I feel I feel like I, I got to tackle a lot of real issues like trans, uh, trans rights and LGBTQ issues, misogyny, uh, sex work and drug addiction. So yeah, thank you for your letter. I really appreciate it. All right, on to this package. Thank you. This is from Anthony. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Let me look at, uh, let me look it up real quick. Actually, wait, I don't want to read your last name out loud because it's the internet. All right, let me open this up. Oh, interesting. Oh. All right. Ugh, I'm full. Oh, sweet. An Expanse t-shirt. Now I have something to wear when season six comes out. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anthony. And there's a letter and there's DVD. 
of Childhood's End. Omnipotent aliens arrive to save humanity from self-destruction under the benign gaze. War, famine, and injustice become things of the past. But a small group of people beginning to question whether this golden age of man comes at a secret and terrible price. And when the supervisor for Earth, Carolyn, finally reveals his true form to the world, the sight is as profound as it is disturbing. All right, looks interesting. I don't recognize any of the actors or actresses, but yeah, looks, sounds very, very interesting. It's from sci-fi. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to react to it at all, but thank you for the DVD. I'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, I actually don't have a DVD player, so I'm going to use my PS4 to play it. So actually, I wouldn't be able to record my reaction anyway, because uh, yeah, my PS4 doesn't, I can't hook up my PS4 to uh, OBS, my stream, my uh, recording device. Uh, anyway, this is really cool. I'll go check it out. Thank you for the t-shirt. And let's read this letter. I should have read the letter first. That's what you're supposed to do, right? But I was too excited for the gifts. How to blow out <laughs> birthday candles. This is great, guys. How to blow out birthday candles. Yes. No. <laughs> That's pretty great. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Eric. Thank you. Uh, I love your Expanse reactions and have been watching them since you started. I hope you enjoy the shirt. I do. If you're looking for something short to watch while waiting for season six, you might consider Childhood's End. It's a three-episode miniseries based on the novella by a. Arthur C. Clarke. It aired on Sci-Fi the same time as The Expanse. I've enclosed my copy. I hope you don't mind that it's used. Of course, you're under no obligation to react to it. Don't read this next part. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the birthday wish and for your copy of Childhood's End. Uh, it's only three episodes, you said? So definitely check that out. I'll probably finish it in one go. But uh, thank you so much, Anthony, for that and for the shirt. All right. Uh, so sorry to those of you who sent stuff uh, and... Who, and it didn't make it. Um, I'll have to check my. Yeah, I'll have to check things. I'll have to check my box more more frequently so that doesn't happen. Uh, they apparently only gave me five days to pick it up, but they didn't give me a phone call or anything. Uh, it says it was delivered on March first, and I got my final notice on March sixth. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know when they got rid of it. I picked it up like March something. I don't know, mid March. So, uh, they have my phone number. I don't know. I'll go, I'll just go check it every week then from now on so that, uh, I won't miss anything. But yeah, if you guys want to send me anything, uh, I'll include the address right over here and in the link in the description below. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes again. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye friends.